two graduates of a lesser known engineering college here in Karnataka, the Manipal Institute of Technology, have taken the global IT arena by storm. After Satya Nadella's rise to the Microsoft corner office, his college junior Rajiv Suri is now the chief executive of Nokia. Suri's appointment as CEO comes days after Nokia closed a deal to sell its devices business to Microsoft. 46-year-old Suri has been a CEO favourite as he was head of the network's division, which now contributes maximum to Nokia's revenues. He struck a personal chord in his maiden press conference as CEO. Almost 20 years ago, I joined Nokia and it was a proud moment for me because I was joining a great company, a great global company with limitless potential and a sense of optimism about our future. After the handset business sale to Microsoft, what remains in Nokia is its network division, map service here and technologies. Suri, credited with turning around the network's business, is now focused on achieving similar results in the other areas as well and improving operational performance. What was surprising, however, is the lack of attention that India got in Suri's maiden press conference, except for a mention of the Chennai plant, which has been excluded from the Microsoft deal because of its tax issues. We're keeping it. It works for the purpose of Microsoft. Uh, we have it uh, in-house. We will be offering our bridge program and other support and financial assistance as needed to people that might have uncertainty there. But of course, we have also uh, signed a transaction service agreement with Microsoft. Experts believe, like Nadella, Suri won't hesitate in taking tough decisions either, especially going by his stint in the networks division. Clearly, Rajiv Suri has a tough task ahead as he tries to bring back Mojo in Nokia and restore the sheen that this iconic firm once had. Chandra R. Shrikant, ET Now, Bangalore.